The storm is coming. The scent of war swells in the air. As the Imperial throne lies empty, the fate of all Tamriel rests on the strength of a common prisoner's soul. Evil awakens. A long vanished foe stirs. Those who would destroy Tamriel seek out dangers to their dark plot. And so death's long arm reaches out. It is the 582nd year of the Second Era. The drums of war are sounding. This is where our journey begins. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Elder Scrolls Online, a game that I have unfortunately already recorded and lost. Gotta love that different type of file rendering that I'm not going to bother getting into. Instead, we're gonna, I'm going to show off the character creation in this game. I am going to be playing on the Elder Mary Dominion. I'm not going to be playing as a female. And I believe I'm going to be playing as maybe an Imperial. Just because, you know, how many people do you see running around playing Imperials? You've got the basic classes of, you know, your Elder Scrolls games. You've got the Breton, who are just, you know, people, I guess. The High Elves, who are, <laughs> you know, go figure, High Elves. Um, you've got the Argonians, who are the lizard men. You've got the Orcs, who are, you know, Orcs. You've got the Wood Elves, who are Wood Elves. They're pretty much High Elves, I mean, in appearance, really. You've got the Dark Elves. Which are like the magic inclined elves, if I remember correctly. Redguard, um, insert raci racist comment here. Khajiit, the cat people. There you go. And then you've got the Nords, who are the Skyrim people. The Suradar. But I think I'm going to play as an Imperial, because, you know, they're the Imperials. Why the hell not, I guess? And look at this veteran gear. Oh, that is a veteran gear. Wait, is it? Here we go. Stop right there, criminal scum. Hold on a second. Criminal scum. Can I... Can I make this? Also, I should probably take off the gear. And I would like him to be... You know what? A Templar. Templars are holy guys. So we're going to make him muscular. As you can see, the game does have decent graphics for one and two cu uh, character customization options. You know, there's a lot of versatility here. Not as much as something like Skyrim, I'd say. Also, there does. Oh, a bit weird. Hey, oh, we can go Asian. Uh, full tribal, tribal dragons. The what? You can't see any of this crap under the armor. Where are the face? Oh, these are body markings. Well, I guess that makes sense. Let's just go with the goofiest one. Yep, there we go. Full tribal. You're gonna be tribal. Torso size. Let's make him buff. I didn't see that do anything, but who cares, I guess. Chest size. Oh. Yeah, let's not overdo this yet. Hold on a second. 
Ah, wait. Whoa. Big gut. Not so big gut. Big gut. Either way, that's not what we're doing here. We are just making the character. Also, if you don't like character creation, that's pretty much all this episode's going to be, I'm sorry to say. I'm pretty much just trying to show off all the character customiza customization options available in this game. Also, you've got voices. Where's the criminal scum voice? Hold on. No. Come on. I think C sounds pretty close, so we'll stick with C. Um, hairstyle customization. No, 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 no. 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 Definitely not. Holy crap. That's slightly more normal. Uh, no. You know, we'll stick with that. How about that? Um, hair color, let's make it like... No. Let's make it black. Features age. We'll make him old scum. Can we give him a Hitler stash? Oh my god, we can turn him into a pirate. Hold on. Hold on, this is a very important thing right here. There we go. Oh, Metal Gear. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, other than that. Maybe I should change his name, though. Criminal Scum doesn't sound right. I mean, it kind of sounds right, because, you know, it's a joke. Because they say stop right there, criminal scum. Yeah, let's change his eye color. Piercing. Um. Nah. 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 Yeah, let's stick with this, actually. I kind of like the blue eyes. Um. Let's see. What's something else the guards say? Uh, I honestly can't think of anything off the top of my head. Besides, you know, stop right there, criminal scum. But I don't want my guy to be the criminal scum, because then I'll have people running up to me going, stop right there. And it'll be funny, but, you know. What am I going to call you, my friend? You know, stuff, let's just stick with criminal scum. And that should be all the character customization. I mean, you've got like a whole bunch more but this is the sort of stuff I don't get into this is all the really advanced stuff like you want to make him squinty look at that you make him squinty I don't want him to be squinty though so we'll leave it about there either way that is what we're going to do for character customization ladies and gentlemen as you can see there's definitely a lot of detail to it and of course you know you've got your classes which I didn't really go over here you've got your dragon knight which is a sword and shield damage class mixed with tanking Sorceress, straight out damage or damage debuff. Nightblade, damage. Not much else there. And Templar is tanking, damage, and healing. So, yeah. Um, you've got your races. Each race has their own passive. If you do not have the pre-order edition, certain races are locked to certain things. I believe it's Breton, uh, High Elf, Argonian to Daggerfall... Orc, Wood Elf, Dark Elf to Altamiri, and Redguard, Khajiit, and Nord to Ebonheart. Unless... It might actually be that one, that way. But either way, it doesn't matter too much. And you've got the Imperials, who can be anyone. Once again, that's also a pre-order bonus, so yeah. Um... Other than that, I think that's going to be it for this. Next time, I will show off a little bit of the gameplay of the game, and give you some impressions of how I feel about it so far.